So, und herzlich willkommen zurück zu den Tales of Berseria. Beim letzten Mal haben wir gegen den Drachen gekämpft, der von Savit beschützt wurde, der leider kein Ferien war, und sind nach Titanien zurückgekehrt, um Lafisette nach neuen Ferien suchen zu lassen. Ob wir wohl jemals Letzte finden? Velvet or one of the pirates is telling me to go make some delivery to some island. I can never get a break. Isn't that just a sign they think you're a dependable guy? Maybe, but I don't see them sending you off on errands. It's like they take one look at your face and decide to leave you alone. Welches Gesicht? I don't have a face. Yeah. Oh, Bruh. right. Sorry. A slip of the tongue. Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's more than you think. Anything to do with iron, I do it. Making tools, repairing things. What do you take me for? Some kind of cheeky freeloader? I don't even have cheeks. <laughs> You're too funny. But doesn't it ever annoy you to have all these kids giving you orders? I've spent my entire life thinking of nothing but forging swords. It's been centuries since I've interacted with youngsters like them. They can be a hassle. But at least it's a new hassle. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. So I went along with whatever they asked. But I've been too nice, so they keep pushing work onto me. Maybe if I hadn't been so helpful, they would have stayed out of my face like they stay out of yours. I don't have a face. <laughs> that's not the point. Aren't you even listening to what I'm saying here? You need to make up your mind. You and I got on this ship alongside these people. Who are putting themselves in great danger in order to live the lives of their choosing. If you don't like it, then go on and get off this ship with your tail between your legs. Ich hab keinen Schwanz. Yeah, except I don't have a tail right now. Dein hat kein Gesicht, der andere hat keinen Schwanz, naja. Gehen wir zur Zelle, wo Lafis hat es. Wenn Sofian auch die richtige Richtung gerade nehme. Nee, oder? Nee. Geobot, bring mich dahin. Wird sich Korridor hier zu segeln, hat schon was. Ich glaube, man hätte damit nochmal vernünftig um One kommen könnte. Und durch beschlossene Türen kann ich damit auch nicht gehen. Sinnlos. Aber wenn man das hier geht, schon viel schneller. Das ist eine akzeptable Geschwindigkeit. Und durch die Tür. Jawohl. Geht doch. Wow. Ne, komm schon. Komm schon. Das Ding auch, der ausrasten muss beim Kurven nehmen. Das könnte helfen beim Stabil sein. Einfach kurz loslasse. Don't push yourself too hard now, Laffy said. You hear me? I hear you. I just. I told everyone I could find the Therians, but I've only sent us to the wrong places. Eisen, is there any way to boost a Moloch's powers? I guess it's okay for me to tell you this. The majority of Malakim today have their consciousnesses sealed away to be used as mere tools for the exorcists. But originally, Malakim were beings who received prayers from people and in return bestowed their blessings upon nature and mankind. So you're saying that when humans pray to a Malak, the Malak receives great strength? Yes, in general at least. Some Malakim, like me, buck the system and bring about misfortune rather than divine grace. Oh, that's unfortunate. Erstmal Eisen anbeten. But who would ever pray to me? Maybe you didn't lead us to any Therians, Fee. But it's not like we came back empty-handed. We found Ori Kalkum to use against Shigure. And we also learned we can hold our own against a dragon. Velvet. So where should we go next, Fee? North Gand. There's a big Earth Pulse point north of Helibis. Works for me. Eisen, 
We can leave whenever you want. Doesn't matter to me. And I'm all set. Let's make our way to the harbor. Endlich darf ich nach Hellavis zurück. I don't mean outright worshiping. All I'm talking about are earnest thoughts and feelings directed at you. I see. So I'm already receiving prayers then. Oh. <lacht> endlich nach Hellavis. Wo ich doch endlich mal die das zweite zweite Formel, nein, die zweite Zutat für das Omega Lix finden kann. Und seit Start des Spiels wollte man mich da ja schon nicht mehr hinlassen. Darf ich mich hier mal raus teleportieren? Nö. Es ist so klasse. Dass ich es einfach nicht darf. So. Na, kurz absteigen geht's eigentlich. Ich geh einfach um die Ecke rum. Sick. Durch die Gänge, oh mein Gott. Als ob man hier auf Eis fahren würde. So fühlt sich das an. Das ist wohl die Sprintfunktion, die ich mir schon lange wünsche. Immerhin, man muss sie nicht irgendwie das ausrüsten und einzeln anwählen oder so ein Quatsch. Sondern einfach nur Leertaste und dann ab dafür. Das ist was Schönes. So, hier lang, hier lang, hier lang. Nee, wo geht's raus? Nice. Große Besprechungsrunde. Our next target is north of Hellavis, near the Faldi's ruins. In light of everything we know, I'd say it's highly likely we'll find a Therian there. Let's hope. Then we should make our first stop, Port Hellavis. With the uh, mischief we got into last time, getting into the city might prove difficult. Benwick, how are things in Hellavis right now? That shipping guild that used to handle our mooring is pretty much toast. But for some reason, the Abbey isn't watching the port as much as they once were. Unfamiliar ships have been hauling in relief supplies, so if we pose as one of the transport ships, I think we can slip in. And if we divert some supplies to an unofficial channel, we might be able to secure a new mooring partner. Smuggling in relief supplies for our own disaster. Cheeky bastards, aren't we? It's what'll get us in. That much is true. It's a plan. Roger. I'll get right on it. Nice. Wir liefern den Hilfsgüter dafür, dass sie den Stadt zerstört haben. Fetzt. Hey Eleanor, Abby Exorcists don't pray to their tethered Malachim, do they? You mean something besides our oaths? An oath is a magical formula that grants you power in exchange for binding you to a rule, right? Yes, though that is simplifying it a bit. When Malachim receive human prayers, they bestow their blessings upon people in nature. Eisen told me that we Malachim grow stronger when humans pray to us. Prayers and blessings? I've never heard of that. I used to think the same way as the other exorcists. Malachim are merely tools that allow us the use of arts. Yeah, that's what I figured. But he know me not is different. The exorcists all worship him. They have faith in his mighty power. And not only that, the people of this nation pray to the Empyrean for salvation. Just as Artorius instructs them. Ah, I get it now. See the wheels turning, do you, kiddo? Huh? Artorius founded the Abbey within the existing Church of the Empyreans, so that he could direct the people's thoughts towards Inominat, so that even while they lionize Artorius as their savior, they're made aware of Inominat's presence behind him. Everyone starts believing in Inominat. The prayers of the entire world go to him. Becoming his power. After the centuries-long decline of Empyrean worship, he becomes stronger than anyone today could imagine. The pieces do fit. Oaths, prayers, blessings, the demon blight. So much in this world is affected by matters of the heart. They hold magical power, both effective and meddlesome. We are truly going up against the rest of the entire world, aren't we? Don't look so troubled, Eleanor. I'm gonna do my best to get stronger. So believe in me. I am a Moloch, after all. 
Oh, Luffy said. You've become so brave so quickly. Have I? But you're still cute when you get embarrassed. Hey, why is your face so red? Huh? My face isn't red. Hm? Okay. Das ist so dieser Fall von ein Gott ist nur so stark wie man ihn macht, so so in die Richtung. Ist ja wie um der Kirche in unserem echten Leben. Die kann ja auch nur existieren, weil so viele Leute an Gott glauben. Würde das nicht so sein, würde dieser Gott ja an Macht verlieren. Eisen mit der Lesebrille, ohne Pilotenbrille. Hey Eisen, what's it feel like to get a letter? I don't feel anything. Nor do I want or need to. There's no joy in receiving these things. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Don't be so shocked. Look, it's just an invoice from the Turtles. What's the big deal anyway? Do you wish you'd get letters too? Yeah. But I don't have anyone to send letters to. Let alone anyone who would send me any. Luffy said, I've got a letter for you. Bruh. What? Really? Who could it be from? The sender is... Bienfu? Oh no. Yep, yep! You got a letter from yours truly! I figured you'd be wanting someone to send you a letter right about now, so I wrote one up for you. What do you think? You <laughs> have, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Bienfu. I'll even read it for you. <laughs> this makes you look kaputt. Jetzt geht's noch um die Info. She hung me upside down from the roof in the middle of the cold. I nearly became a frozen Norman sickle. It was so horrible that I couldn't stop my tears from flowing down my little cheeks. Wie ein gefroren sind. Immer knechte ihn. Ah, there's the Bienfu we know and love. But all you wrote about in that letter was yourself, and you even read it out loud yourself. That's okay. Thanks, Bienfu. It feels nice to get a letter. That's so kind of you to say. I think I might cry again. Haben wir hier Magli noch draußen? Nein. Schade, ich wollte kurz was checken. Obwohl, kann ich doch. Magli los unglaublich lange Socken. Naja. <lacht> Geht. Bruh. So, Expedition, was gibt's? Naja, nicht zu viel. So, auf nach Renit. Jetzt kann ich doch endlich mal die Omega Elixir Quest weitermachen und neue Insel. We've loaded everything bound for LVs. With that much trade, I doubt anyone will suspect us. Any idea who can give us cover for docking? Not anyone in particular, but recently the power and influence of the Helvies Fishermen's Guild has caught my eye. The Fishermen's Guild, huh? Let's bring them some extra relief supplies. Fuel, drink, and as for the drink... Twelve-year-old Amber Draft. The sailors of Helvies have an eye for the stuff. You heard that from Dial, I take it. He's got a sharp eye. He took a bottle in payments, but I say we turn a blind eye to it. We thought we were the best at this kind of thing, but having him around has been a real eye opener. Okay, but tell him if he takes a second, he'll pay for it. Eye for an eye. Aye, aye. I'll keep an eye on him so that he doesn't sneak off with another bottle. Ah, my day. Erst muss das viel arbeiten, dann darf er nicht mal sonst saufen. The supplies are loaded. We can make for Helavis whenever you want. Wunderbar. That was fast. If we weren't hard workers, we wouldn't be sailors. Was ist der Prinz? Oh nein, was ist denn jetzt los? Oh, what's wrong, Kamoana? She, uh, she said she had a dream about her mom. When mommy saw me, she... 
She said I looked scary. That she didn't want a scary little girl like me. <laughs> Your mother would never say that, sweetheart. But how can you be sure? Well, uh, how do I put it? I know because I know. <laughs> nice. You're just lying to make me feel better. Na toll, Elnor. Erst bringst du die Mutter um und dann das. Wir sollten gehen. Oh, come on, Anna. Don't cry. I... <lacht> oh, this is the part I hate about little kids. I'm not a little kid. I hate you, Velvet. I hate you. That's right. Let it all out. Stop it. Stop it. Mommy. Gerade Velvet. My mommy. She didn't want me. Das hätte ich jetzt eher noch machen müssen. Aber nein. She managed to cry herself to sleep. They're not rational creatures. Sometimes you just gotta let them cry it out. You seem used to it. I guess you could say that. Luffy usually kept himself together when he was younger. But when he was really little, he had times like this every now and then. Uh. And on that note, let's take off all we can. Ja, Elnor, bin ich so da? Du hast verkackt. My leash. Dial. I leave Kamoana in your care. I'll do what I can, but kids as sweet and honest as her are harder to deal with than corrupt bureaucrats. An outlaw prince and a talking lizard are no replacement for a mother. Aber Eleanor kann auch kein Ersatz sein. Oh yeah, zurück nach Hellavis. Hab ich da Bock drauf. Endlich. I do hope Kamalana isn't crying anymore. Yeah. Shush. How long is it going to be before you send in another exorcist to replace Lady Teresa? With these demons clamoring at our gates, none of us feel safe anymore. You have our deepest sympathies, but we were sent here on a different mission. That's what the last exorcist who came here said before leaving for the north. What could be up there that's worth all that attention? Surely we're not all being punished by the Abbey for what happened with Medissa, are we? That is not the case. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business to attend to. So the exorcists are just passing through town and heading straight north. Odd. Tja, was könnte im Norden wo sein? Man weiß es nicht. Ey, zwei Schatzkisten. Kranker Loot? Auf keinen Fall. Ever since the calamity showed up, everything's just gone to pot, I say. Calamity? What do you mean? I mean the demon who barged in and made a mess of our fair city. She's a nasty creature of pure evil, with an arm that eats anything that gets in her way. Haven't you heard of her? The calamity's been rampaging across the whole kingdom, not Was? just here. Scant few have seen her and survived. That's right. Huh. You don't say. After the calamity raised our ships and our port, the shipping guild fell apart and our trade routes got poached by other ports. It's bad. The town relies on trade to make ends meet. People are abandoning the city, and our streets are no longer safe. Not to mention the demon blight spreading again. Just the other day, a little kid turned into a demon. Just like that. What a world. What a world. What have the exorcists been doing during all of this? Well, Lady Teresa was in charge of this region. But she came up short against the calamity, and got a fat demotion for her troubles. Several new exorcists have been reassigned here, but once they arrive, they all traipse right off to the ruins up north. 
This has to be Medissa's fault. If she hadn't gone and done something so yes, stupid, Medissa. Medissa. That's enough. This isn't something for outsiders to know. You're right. Sorry. Oh, <sighs> I'm really worried about what's going to come of this town. It sounds like Hello Peace isn't what it used to be these days. We need to ask around and find out more about what's going on here. Agreed. Especially regarding the Abbey and those ruins. I'm also curious about this Medissa woman. The ruins part makes sense, since the Earth Pulse point might be there. But why do you care who Medissa is? Just a hunch. Something tells me she's worth looking into. You're not gonna look into this calamity chick? She sounds like a real terror. Yeah, I think I'll pass. I already know plenty about what makes her tick. Where's Medissa? Are you alright, Madam Eleanor? Don't let those people get you down. I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Uh, but could you not do that thing where you blow air on me to dry my tears? <laughs> All right, I'll just pat your head then. That won't be necessary either. Oof. But really, things are in a terrible state. The town burned, the guild ruined, the abbey all but gone. It won't be a functioning port for some time. You can't fault them for being upset. They had it real good here until we came along. Those Helavisians were like spoiled children. How so? Helavis was once a tiny fishing village. The bountiful northern seas provided plenty enough fish to sustain their trade. But Flamestone gave them an easy way to get rich. And once they got a taste, they abandoned their old craft. And now they're paying the price. But I've heard that the cooling temperature has covered half the northern sea in ice drift, making fishing much more difficult. Uh, but the drifting ice carries tiny organisms. Enriching the waters where it melts. The fish should be more plentiful than ever. I suppose you may have a point. We're ones to talk after what we did, but taking the easy path, then complaining as soon as it gets hard? That seems... Spoiled, yes. <laughs> you said it, Luffy said. I think my appetite's getting a little overindulgent, too. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Just means you're healthy. Giant squid come to these waters in this season. Should I ask Benwick to fish some up? Yeah, and some normal octopuses too. <laughs> Octopuses. Nice. <laughs> this calamity is us, isn't it? Well, we've been waging war with the Abbey everywhere we go. Now we're about to take it to a new level. If we pull the next Therian off of the Earth Pulse point, it'll likely be Kamoana's village all over again. The same devastation? Ooh. I wonder if there's something worse than calamity that they can call us. Mega this calamity. Is no matter. People turn into demons in part due to their own malevolence. It's not like they're entirely innocent. But if there's someone out there who's being forced to act as Inominat's mouth, like Kamoana was, isn't saving them the right thing to do? I cannot argue with that, but... You don't have to worry. I'm the one who will devour the barrier. And I'm the one who will do what needs to be done. Entschlossen. Hey, Silberklumpen. Wieso nicht gleich so? Außerdem noch eine Schatztruhe. Ach hier. Ja. Ja, damit. Und. Wow. Ach, sinnlos. Ich werde die ganzen Sachen noch eh niemals brauchen. Jetzt mal im Ernst. Demon attacks have ground trade to a halt. But people are slowly starting to fish again. Are you a fisherman too? I. This town got swept up in the recent trade boom. But back when I was a young lad, this was a fishing port through and through. Ever since the shipping guild took over the docks, all of us fishermen got muscled out. Making this a commercial port has helped the town grow. But a lot of people weren't so happy with the guild. It's too bad everyone couldn't just work together. Once money gets involved, people change. That's true no matter what age. Und die Nominat tut das richten. People know it's the ones making the money who lead the charge. But we follow anyway. It's human nature. I hope everyone changes their minds once we start rebuilding. But who knows what will happen. Wer sagt, dass sich überhaupt irgendwas ändert? 
der sagt, dass ich einfach hier Pausen mache und die nächste Folge gleich anfange aufzunehmen und die alte beende. Genau das werde ich tun. Oh ja. Also, dann sehen wir uns im nächsten Part, wenn wir entweder das Omega Elixir Zutat suchen oder mit der Hauptstory weitermachen. Eins von beiden. Also, bis zum nächsten Part und bis dahin.